One year ago, the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse was set to host men's college basketball in the NCAA tournament. That's when the pandemic shut down the arena almost overnight. In normal times, it was one of the busiest venues in the country, home to more than 200 events in a single year. In an exclusive interview, Mark Namick talks to the Cavs CEO about how the arena has changed over the last year and the events ahead that could be some of the biggest since the onset of the pandemic. It absolutely changed our, our world. Cavs CEO Len Komorowski oversees every event, from basketball to concerts to monster truck shows. So it was uh, an incredible impact at that juncture and something that you never think that you'll ever witness. I've been in this industry for a few decades and never had seen anything like it, nor hope to see anything like it again. Strict protocols guided by the NBA and health experts from the Cleveland Clinic have allowed the arena to come back to life. Though capacity set by the governor is just 25%, which translates to 4,100 fans. We've been hitting capacity all the way throughout, so the demand has been incredibly strong. We have 25% people coming. We're staffed for a full event. He argues arenas are safer than most indoor spaces. Well, first of all, speaking just on behalf of our industry, we felt like we were given an unfair stigma. So for right or wrong, or whatever the case may be, we've been the last to open. The field house is benefiting from the $185 million renovation completed in 2019 that added space to the once cramped concourses and entrances. We have the closest environment to an outdoor setting in the indoors. We went from amongst the least amount of public square footage to amongst the most and now have even a broader environment, much more open, open spaces, allows for a lot more in terms of social distancing, not as much crowding. Capacity is expected to grow in the months leading up to the October Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremonies to be held at the Fieldhouse for the first time. The event could become the biggest concert on the book since the pandemic began, promoters gearing up for a robust concert season beyond that. 2022 is shaping up to be an epic year from a concert year. It could be one of the greatest concert years we've ever had. What we've heard over and over again, the appetite for live entertainment and music is unbelievable. A year from now, Cleveland hosts the NBA All-Star Game during the league's 75th anniversary. This could be the first major event of that level, even worldwide, you know, to really be have that type of access and uh, for our, our fans. Mark Namick, 3 News.